This screencast is about creating the residence variable. So using the Agincourt data, as usual, we will create a variable called residence. First, we create variable residence with missing values. The residence variable will be determined by the sequence of events. First, before enumeration, a person cannot be a resident. So residence will be equal to zero when the event code is one, which is for enumeration, and the previous event code is different from one. Actually, in principle, before enumeration, it cannot be something else than missing. But we'll simply say that it's different from one, because missing is also different from one. So we run this and we'll see what we get. Here you see that up to enumeration, residence was equal to zero. The other observations are not coded yet. They are still missing. Now we should also have a zero value when the event is birth. So we replace residence by zero. If residence is missing, it has not been coded yet. And the event code for the current observation is a birth. Code for birth is to. For example, those who were born in the HDSS were coded zero. We have one here. We have this individual for which event code was coded two and the residence is equal to zero. Now, if someone died in the HDSS, in principle, all deaths occurring in the HDSS are recorded when the person was a resident. So the value of residence should be one, one being a resident, if the residence was before coded missing and even code is seven here. We have someone who was first enumerated up to enumeration, the code is zero, and then the person died and the code is one. Then there is the instance when uh, the person was born in the HDSS, then followed up until OBE. In that case, the person was a resident from birth to OBE, which is the right sensory. So let's go to the next um, instance. When someone was in-migrating, it was an in-migration followed by an OBE. In this case, the person was resident between in-migration and OBE. Then there is another case where enumeration was followed by in-migration. There should not be such cases because we know that in principle a person cannot be enumerated and then in migrant. To cover this kind of errors, we can pose that the residence is zero before an in migration, even if it was preceded by an enumeration. There were actually no changes in this case. So it means that there was no such error in the data. We can also spot a similar error with birth uh, succeeded by in-migration. And the good news here is that there is no real changes made. So it means that uh, this error was not, was not made in this uh, data file. Now we want to impose that uh, there is at least six months um, between an in-migration and an out-migration to consider a person as a resident. The value of six months can be found by multiplying the number of days in an average year divided by two and multiply by 24 hours, 60 minutes, 60 seconds and a thousand milliseconds. The time here is recorded in milliseconds. The value of six months in milliseconds is that much. You can use that number to define residency greater than six months or less than six months. For example, in migration preceded by out migration, but that lasted less than six months, then we will not consider this period as um, a period out of the HDSS. You can run this and uh, look at um, the, the codes here. It's residence equal one if it was not already coded and even code is equal to three, which is an in migration and previous even code for the preceding 
record was for, that is an out migration. And the difference in dates between the date at the end of the observation for in migration minus the date at the end of observation for the out migration is less or equal to six months. Here we have the opposite, which is when the difference between out migration and in migration was more than six months. So residence equals zero because we consider that the person was out of the HDSS for more than six months. There are cases where the person was uh, an in-migrant and there was no record before the in-migration. We have then to uh, consider that the person was not a resident before first in-migration. When there is an out-migration, in principle, after a period of residence, we start with the general case where there should be a residence before out-migration, so residence equals 1, when even code equals 4. Then we make the corrections because there are some cases where there was one out-migration, but it was preceded by an in-migration and there were less than six months duration between the in-migration and the out-migration. So the person was not actually really a resident because he stayed less than six months in the study area. Finally, we need codes for uh, cases of OBE. That is when the um, last observation is an OBE and is uh, not preceded by death or out-migration, then the person is considered as a resident. However, if uh, it was preceded by out-migration or death, then the person was not a resident and we have to code residence equal to zero. Let's look at um, the codes for even code and residence. So we see that there are here 360 errors remaining in the database. That is, we have uh, people who had not been attributed a residency status when they are in migrants. So we will consider there are relatively few cases, 360 over more than 642,000. So we'll replace it by zero, meaning that the person was not considered resident before in migrating. Last thing that will be useful in this data file is to create date bag, which is the date at the beginning of each episode. This is simply the event date of the previous episode, so we can compute it that way and to format it in TC, that is in uh, time in milliseconds. We can order the data so that it is displayed nicely. So we now have um, all the variables we need, the ID, the DOB, the sex, the date bag, and the event date as well as event code and residence. The last thing that we, we need is a censoring variable, that is an indicator telling us whether at the end of each observation, if the person was censored or experienced the event. So the way to do it is to create for each individual a sensor out, which will be one when even code is equal to four, that is, there is an out migration, and the following residence is equal to zero, that is, the person actually moved out of the array. So this censoring variable will be for out migration. We will see that we can create other censoring variables for death or other events. So here, the censoring variable for out-migration is computed for a number of cases where there was an out-migration followed by a period of non-residence. You see that some out-migration are followed by periods of residence because the period out of the HDSS was less than six months. So here we have only the out-migration followed by periods of non-residence for more than six months.